But now it's time for a segment we all know and love very much. It's time for God's Mistakes. Now, take a look at this child molester dressed as a nun. What are God's mistakes? He doesn't know. All he knows is how to get children back to his house so he can molest them. What God's mistakes are is that my friend, the same person who sent that email, by the way, about chronic fatigue syndrome, once said, all the creatures at the bottom of the ocean are God's mistakes because God made them. And he's like, what the fuck is this? He's like, I throw it down there. No one's ever going to see it. So it's the most effed up forms of life. And I'm going to show you this one minute video. Uh, and this is a living organism. It is not a plant. It is an animal. And you, are, you have to see it to believe it. What's fascinating to me about these types of animals is that they don't have a face, so you don't even know where to look. And you don't know, is it swimming? Is it floating? Can it make decisions? It looks like a, a does it not, does not, what does that look like to you guys? It just looks like seaweed. Okay. Taffy. Yeah? A booger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was gelatinous, yeah. So let's pause it right there. Because that's perfect. See that? Pause it right there. This is known as Venus's girdle. Venus came from the sea foam. Cestus veneris is the Latin name. <clears throat> now, it comes from a family of comb jellies, which are relatives to jellyfish. Now, unlike other comb jellies, the body is greatly flattened and drawn out into a long ribbon-like shape. What I love about this, while it looks like a girdle, more like a belt, it's got the buckle in the middle. It's like, it really looks like a belt. Um, the two tentacles are greatly shortened, and two of the four comb rows, they, they, they have like a paramecium, you know like a paramecium? This is basically in many ways like a giant paramecium, which have those cilia at the edge which have to move. So the unusual body form allows the animals to swim by means of uh, muscular undulation, like kind of like a snake, or by using their cilia. So there's two ways of locomotion, which is pretty interesting. This species, uh, can reach 3.3 feet in length, which is huge. Uh, they found another species that is uh, uh, in the same family as this, but they're the only two species in the family, and that is um, Venus's girdle. And what's really interesting about the comb jellies, uh, you know, Google comb jelly, uh, when you have comb jellies underwater, often their cilia are used to refract light. So as they move, it looks like, um, like LEDs underwater. And since they don't have any mind or eyes, it's really kind of uh, counterintuitive why this is happening. Part of the reason it could be breaking up its profile, it could be attracting things. That's, that's a Dumbo octopus, that's a whale. <laughs> okay, there it is, yeah. That's a comb jelly. It's not electronic, it's not from the 80s. I've seen that at a rave. Yeah. So that is what they look like. It's just real. And those are the cilia I was talking about that help it move through the water. And they break up uh, um, uh, the light. So, and I don't even understand how they eat. I think how they eat is like microscopic crustaceans are just kind of drawn in as they move. But at the same time, they're going to not require much energy because they're virtually all water. And it's not like they're very goal oriented. So that is the comb jelly. And that is one of God's mistakes. Venus, we know specifically which God. She lost her fucking girdle. It's in the ocean and it's up to 3.3 feet. So she's a bit of a tubby little lady. Did you want to see this other video you included? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, oh, wait, before we go to that. And of course, sometimes they, I forgot about that. Thank you, Drew. Uh, let's watch this. They do have predators. Look, this is a sea turtle eating a girdle. You can barely see it in its mouth. Now, what's in, see that? You can see it floating away. I'm going to put on my conservationist hat. You can see why those sea turtles eat those plastic bags. Because it looks the same. I mean, not much different. Those plastic bags don't digest. They cause a blockage in the turtle's digestive system, and the turtle then dies. So that is a very real example of why plastic in the ocean is a big 
a, a big problem, and we do love our sea turtles. So, so um, on that note, 